Brother Larry Johnson, and saving souls from the fire, loving his neighbor. And made gods for themselves. And made all different types of gods, even themselves. They became gods to themselves. In our righteousness, in our holiness, working that which is unseemly. Come on. Men with men, women with men, women, doing what is not oh, convenient. They have lost the truth of Jesus Christ. Comes and says, I am the truth. Yes. Come on. Jesus Christ says, I am the right. Yes. Why does he say, I am the right? Because man kind of lost their life in the beginning of time. Man kind of lost their life. When they disobeyed God, it was given to them the commandment. They said, do not eat this. Do not, do not disobey me in this. But mankind disobeyed. Mankind rebelled and lost their life because God himself says in the day that you eat thereof you shall surely die so death reigned from Adam onwards mankind lost their life yes they lived for a little bit they lived for a long time long periods of time but the Spirit of God did not strive in man always so man died man walked for 900 years, 700 years, 500 years, and now it's 120 years, and then you're dead. Mankind lost their life. So Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says, I am the life, because in him is life eternal. In him is life. In him is light. Without Jesus Christ, there's only darkness, spiritual darkness, evil in the heart of man. So God says he will dwell in man. He says in the last days, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Sons and daughters shall prophesy. Old men shall dream dreams. Young men shall see visions. He made a promise to you. He made a promise that you shall know him. You shall know God. His hand is outstretched. Day after day, His hand is outstretched to you, saying, Repent! Repent and turn away from your sins. His hand is outstretched. Day after day, saying, Repent! Oh, that you will repent. Oh, that your heart and heart proud heart might be made low and humble that you might repent and turn to him believe on the son which he had sent that you might have life and have more abundantly turn away from drunkenness turn away from idolatry turn away from that which you know is wrong because God has placed it in your heart a conscience a conscience to know when you're done wrong. A conscience to know when you're stealing. A conscience to know when you're lying. He's placed that within every single human being. Doesn't matter whether you're in China, Ethiopia, mankind is mankind no matter where you are. Sin is sin no matter where you are on this planet. Every man is going to fall to three things, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. But God has made a way. God has made a way through His Son, Jesus Christ. He's made a way through His Son that you might have life. Walk away from your sin, Toronto. Repent. Repent. It's not about the club life. The club life is no life at all. What are you going to do? Drink it up? Get drunk? Puke up? Get high? You got it! What's the point? Is that fun when you're puking? No, it's not. But God says it very interestingly. He says especially to Christians. He says, 
If you're lukewarm, he's gonna spew you out of his mouth. Brothers, since we're not here now to be lukewarm. We're here to be fire for God. Full of fire for God. For God is a consuming fire. We're here to warn you to turn away from your sins. Turn away from all unrighteousness, people. The Bible says that in the last days mockers shall arise, scorners shall arise, saying, Where is the promise of his coming? Where is the promise of Jesus coming? For since the beginning of time, we've always heard Jesus is coming soon. But all things have, have, have continued of how they were since the beginning of time. The Bible says this thing that they're ignorant of, how that the world was created by the word of God. And the old world was destroyed in water. A great cataclysm. We're here to warn you that these are like the days of Noah. Men are married and getting to marry. Marriage, eating and drinking, doing their own thing. Doing their own thing. But God came 40 and two generations later in the flesh. In the flesh. God in the flesh, Jesus Christ. Walked in this earth. Came down 40 and two generations. Died upon a cross. Walked a sinless life. Became the offer, became the offering for your sin. The judge became your lawyer. You were condemned to die. But the judge came off the throne and became your lawyer. And says, I do not want Jessica to die. I don't want John to die. The offer became the offering. He offered himself for the sin of mankind. The Bible says it this way. Jesus said, for God so loves the world yeah, in, the, in the morning but that he down. gave oh, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever that means you whosoever whosoever in China whosoever in Toronto whosoever anyone on the sound of my voice whosoever might be saved Whosoever shall not perish but have eternal life. These are my few words to you, Toronto. Repent. Repent from your sins. Repent means to walk and do a U-turn. You're walking to do the wrong thing, do a U-turn. Start doing the good. Start doing the good thing. Repent means to turn away from evil and turn to good. That's what repent means. If you hear us screaming out, repent, that means turn from evil to do good. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you hear us say, repent, know that the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is very near. If you hear us say, repent, we want you to turn away from evil. If you hear us say, repent, what every prophet says to him at the beginning of time. Repent. That's the only message some men had sometimes. Repent. Turn away from evil and start to do good. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. His offering was not in vain. His payment for your sin was not in vain. I know it's because he had died for my sins.